Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about electronic configuration of chromium and copper. In the last lecture we have discussed how to write the electronic configuration of elements. So let's start. First is chromium. Its atomic number is 24. Atomic number is 24. So its expected configuration is electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d4, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2 and 3d4. This is the expected configuration as we have learned in previous lecture. But its actual configuration is actual electronic configuration. So let's understand first. Uh, I can write this configuration with respect to noble gas also. This is atomic number 18 configuration and that is a argon, argon 4s2 3d4. This is the still expected electronic configuration. But now let's talk about a stability as we know d contains uh, five orbitals and if uh, one one electron is present in those five orbitals then it will call half filled orbitals and half filled orbitals and fully filled orbitals are more stable half filled orbitals and fully filled orbitals are uh, more stable but we cannot add one more electron then its atomic number will change but now compare this 4s2 and uh, 3d4 both these orbitals have a comparable energy almost equivalent energy let me represent in orbitals this is 4s2 and 3d4 1 2 3 4 4s2 3d4 as we can say d4 is nearest to the d5 orbital if it require it require one electron from somewhere then it will become half filled stable half filled orbital and half filled orbitals are more stable clearly so due to the comparable energy of 4s2 and 3d3 3d4 orbitals one electron can excite from 4s2 this so now configuration will be This will become 4s1 before we have 3d4. Now fifth electron comes from s. So it becomes 3d5. So we can say 3d5 is more stable than 3d4 because it is a half filled orbital and half filled orbitals are more stable. So conclusion is d5 is more stable than d4 because it is half filled and it is a nearest to half filled orbital so now its actual configuration is a argon 4s1 3d5 4s1 3d5 one electron is excited from 4s orbital to 3d4 orbitals to make it more stable we expected this configuration 4s to 3d4 but actual configuration is 4s1 3d5 clear next let's uh, do same thing for a uh, copper next is a uh, copper atomic number we know 29 so its expected configuration is i am writing it short in a with respect to noble gas argon 4s2 3d9 argon 4s2 3d9 18 or 2 20 plus 9 29 electrons this is a expected electronic configuration but let's talk again about stability we can see d9 is a 
close to the D10 configuration. D9 is close to the D10 configuration. D10 means fully filled orbitals, fully filled electron containing orbitals. So represent in a box. This is 4s2. And if we follow the Hunt's rule, Hunt's rules of a pairing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is a 3D <coughs> 9 configuration. As we expect it for us to 3D 9. But uh, again, due to comparable energy, one electron can excite from 4S orbital to 3D. And why it will excite? To achieve extra stability. So this one electron from 4s orbital to 3d 9 orbital. So configuration will be 4s1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and this 10th electron comes from a 4s orbital this shifting takes place so we can see now this become 3d 10 expected was 4s2 3d 9 but actual configuration we have now actual configuration is a argon 4s1 3d 10 and Conclusion again, D10 is more stable than D9. This is a stability. Why? Because it is a fully filled orbital. So these are the two elements which violates the normal electronic configuration rules. And why they violates? Because they want they acquire stable electronic configuration by shifting of a electron from 4s orbital to 3d orbital because of their comparable energy that's it for a exceptional electronic configuration of a chromium and a copper i hope you would get it keep exploring my channel for further notifications stay at home thank you